Hi, this is Tex Mexico for HW Music Preston, and today we're demoing three pedals by a brand called Rocktronics. They're three boutique style overdrives uh, with sturdy die cast boxes, um, real rough and tough. If you want to play live, you really got to have these. So here we have the Crunch Distortion, the little orange pedal. Uh, first of all, we're going to listen to it through a combination of a telecaster. This is a 1952 reissue telecaster. That's the American Vintage Reissue series. We'll also be listening to uh, this uh, Fender Excelsior amplifier, which is a single channel all valve amplifier with a 15 inch speaker in it. It's a, uh, a, a tweed style amplifier, if you will. Really beautiful, really basic, clean sound. So give us a good idea what the pedal sounds like. So first of all, I'm going to start off with a uh, low gain sound on the pedal. We'll turn the gain right down. So, basic guitar sound. And as you can see, the pedal just adds a really tasteful gain to it. Just a little overdrive style gain. Just uh, dirts it up. It's really kind of uh, reactive to your playing. Beep into it a little bit, you get a bit more light and punch. And it gets really fat if you try middle positions on the guitar. And now we're into proper distortion territory. We get a really kind of savage attack on it. We get into kind of 70s classic rock. Here. Okay, so here we have the uh, California Sound and the British Sound pedals. California Sound's the white one, the British one is the pink one. I don't know why, don't ask me, but hey, that's the way it came out. Anyway, so what we have here is uh, two pedals that are typed, uh, again, in the sort of a, a, a boutique style, as it were. Uh, the Californias make to sound like uh, uh, West Coast American amplifiers. Um, they have kind of a slightly less abrasive tone, a bit more mellow, a bit fatter in the low end. Uh, British style amps are known for being a bit more abrasive, having a bit more kind of uh, a high end. I think that's uh, that's down to the fact that uh, British guitarists tend to like uh, treble boost sounds. We're talking Marshall, we're talking Fox, that kind of thing. Here we're much more in kind of Fender territory. So uh, what we'll do is we'll listen to it a little bit. Again, the Fender uh, 52 vintage reissue uh, into the Fender Excelsior amplifier. Um, here's the clean sound. <laughs> Very basic, valley clean tone, fairly fender type. So the California should work really well with it. So as you see, rather than kind of beefing up the kind of overdrive, the saturation immediately, what it does is it adds a lot more kind of fatness and roundness in the low ends. Again, let's just hear a bit off. That's a lot thinner here. Yeah, so mainly the pedal there again is acting like a boost, but it's adding more the character of a circuitry to it. Now if we were to compare this to the British sound, it's a basic tone. And you can see there. Now what I've done is I've set both of these uh, pedals up the same way with all of the knobs at 12 o'clock. Uh, so they're set up exactly the same way. They're, they're basically about the same way. What you have at the top here is a three band EQ, low, mid and high. And then at the bottom, on the left, you have level, in the middle you have voice, and in the right you have drive. Now drive, obviously, is the amount of overdrive you're putting on the pedal. Level is the amount of uh, output volume from the pedal. And the, uh, the voice is uh, um, a knob that affects the character of the, uh, the pedal. So uh, let's start listening to the uh, California. What we can do with this, uh, with this pedal here, if we turn up the drive, again, you're getting a lot more kind of there, but it's still a kind of a little bit of a brittle sound. Now what you find with the, with the voice knob on this pedal is that it increases the actual characteristic of the pedal. So you actually get more low end, you get a little bit more saturation because it's pushing the low end more. So if I back it off here, it it out a little bit. Here we go. That's really big and beefy. Now if we were to do the same on the British pedal, so your sound with everything at 12. Turn up the drive. Much more saturation. If you turn up the voice, that 
because it emphasizes the characteristic of the pedal, so you have uh, much more of a, 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 a brittle, kind of British type sound there. Now, what I've got here is the EQ setup at 12, but you can get really extreme type sounds with it. For instance, you can get a really nice mid scoop sound, and it doesn't sound like your kind of typical bedroom amp sound if you would do that. It's much more of a kind of bluesy combo sound. So kind of like a, a blues break with a pedal in front of it. You do the same again on the uh, California. If you were to scoop the mids out a little bit, turn up the low and the high. Again, what you'll hear is not so much a really kind of dominant EQ, but more affecting the character of the pedal. Uh, this is the way uh, the, you know these pedals work. It's, it's a really clever, clever circuit in the sense that what you've got is a determinant characteristic for each pedal. So in that sense, they're really usable and uh, it just falls to you to actually decide whether you want a more kind of California style sound. So what we're talking here, in terms of the California sound, we're talking uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, that kind of thing, American Blues Man. With the British sound, we're talking much more kind of Pete Townsend, kind of uh, that kind of British sound, you know. Okay, now we're gonna listen to the crunch distortion uh, with this Les Paul traditional. Yeah, uh, Gibson standard Les Paul tradition. I'm going to be using a Blackstar HT Studio 20 amplifier. Again, it's uh, it's an old valve amplifier, really good uh, with a 12 inch speaker in it. Um, get a really kind of British type sound with it, although with the ISF button you can also range into a slightly American sounding amplifier, but it's uh, based on your classic Marshall British style design. So uh, um, here we have the, uh, the clean sound. So as you can see, uh, with your Les Paul and your, uh, your British style amplifier, you get a little bit of dirt sound going on there. If you make it any less dirty than that, it starts sounding flat, so you want that harmonic to really bite in. This is where having a front-end uh, distortion or overdrive pedal really comes into its own, because uh, when you put it over there just slightly, start getting this beautiful breakup. It's really nice harmonic sound, and again, you can vary the tone if you want more, a little bit more brightness in it. get a lot more brightness, a lot more attack out of the pedal, just using it as essentially a boost with the gain all the way down, just a little bit of volume on it. Now if you turn the gain up, it's when it starts getting to really, really big fat territory. I mean, you're talking about your kind of, uh, your Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Fat styles of you know heavy metal with uh, even more gain. But again, if you were to back the gain off and just use the, you can just uh, boost the the crunch of the amplifier using the volume circuit here. Hearing there is the amp front end saturating more uh, by using this as a boost pedal. Again, the tone control comes into its own so to get a bit more brightness, or if you prefer to have a slightly duller sound, then you can do that as well. But uh, that's uh, that's your crunch distortion. Uh, again, good variety of gain uh, with your overdrive right through to your fat distortion sounds um, with your Les Paul and your British style amplifier. Okay, now I'm going to be testing out the uh, California sound and the British sound pedals into the Les Paul setup. Um, it's interesting the way we're doing this test because we, we have a, a kind of American type pedal and a British type pedal into a, an American type setup and a British type setup. So here's the, uh, the, the British sound essentially with these pedals in front of them. Here's your, uh, your basic clean sound. So uh, we'll listen to the British, uh, the British pedal first because it seems uh, well matched to the setup. So here we go. Again, that's all at 12 o'clock, so... Turn it right down. Really kind of backs it off completely. Then you can use the level knob. That's a little boost. But you can turn up the drive. And you can really get like a nice, again, kind of a classic sound there. That's uh, 
really nice fat lead tone. Um, so you can use this obviously as a front end overdrive as you would a your, your classic tube scream or something like that. Okay, now let's listen to the uh, California sound. Again, we'll have it with your basic clean tone. And then over that, the California tone. And what it's done there is really nicely brought in a, an extra little bit of low end, just really filled it out. So it makes the amp sound louder and fatter. It doesn't push the overdrive so much, doesn't start to overdrive the amp quite as early as the British sound pedal does. If you turn up the drive. Again, it's a, uh, it's a much kind of, uh, it's a much less kind of abrasive sound, but it has that that warmth and that roundness you tend to associate with uh, with American sounds. It has that real nice inherent that tone to it. Now, if we listen to the uh, to the EQ sections here, so if we try the, uh, the British sound pedal. Again, if we try scooping out the mids here, so we can get more of a tight kind of uh, heavy metal distortion, as it were. We're getting much more into the kind of tight heavy metal type distortion sound. Much more sweet. Now, if you listen to the California sound, scooping the mids out again. Interesting sound. Say, for instance, if you wanted to play some stone or rock, anything like that, then that would really be, uh, uh, you know, a great sound to, to start from. Um, so that's kind of these, uh, these two pedals. Again, if you were to put them both on, it's not overpowering. So again, you know, they work really well together, so uh, why not buy both?